I am not entirely sure how safe this is going to be. I'm not entirely sure what kind of dangers I put myself in by coming out here. But I bet I'm going to be scared shitless at one point in time. Will this be my last will of testament? And then the last thing is, is there, is there a real threat from some of those trees behind the cabin? And I don't know, but I'm going to probably find out tonight. Hey guys, welcome back to the cabin. Beautiful rainy day out today. So this is the uh, tail end of Hurricane Dorian. Um, I do believe now it's considered a tropical storm category one. Um, this could also be equated to a winter storm called a nor'easter, very similar in terms of the direction of the wind and the storm. And as it passes through, it's gonna turn northwest, I do believe. Uh, so I decided I'd come out and see if I could uh, make a video of this. Um, I am not entirely sure how safe this is going to be. I'm not entirely sure what kind of dangers I put myself in by coming out here. Um, I feel like the cabin is a sturdy structure. It's in a bit of a valley, so it's a little protected. However, there are a couple large trees that are looming around, uh, which would be the most concerning thing to me. They are issues that I've been meaning to deal with, but unfortunately, time and means have not been something that I could could allocate towards solving that problem. Winds are supposed to get up to 100 kilometers per hour, maybe 110 gusting. Uh, not consistent. It'll probably be down more around 60 and 70 most times. Then it's going to gust from the treetops. Um, yeah, so it should be an interesting afternoon each way. Uh, hopefully, the night goes well as well. <laughs> Uh, I really don't know. I've never been out in a storm like this, at least not out here. Uh, I have been here after a storm, a nor'easter winter storm, and that's where the two other trees were knocked down. So I could be in for something really interesting, or it could be just a regular night. Um, it will be a challenge to shoot video. It's going to be dark, so it might be a bit grainy, so I apologize in advance. Other than that, I'm just chilling, relaxing going to sit back, maybe read a little. Uh, got basic meals prepared, nothing special, just it was kind of a last second decision, so here I am. So I'm going to sit back for a little bit, relax, and uh, keep an eye on what's going on, and uh, yeah, we'll go from there.
trees are definitely rustling about a lot more. Rain's coming down quite a bit harder right now. Um, there will be a point I probably won't even be able to sit on this deck. I'll probably have to get out of here. So, anyways, I got some uh, wood to organize. I'm gonna have a quick fire tonight just to keep the uh, cabin slightly warm. It's only gonna get down to 10 degrees, but I'm in a bit of a valley, so it could get a little chillier than that. So, a little roaring fire might uh, stem the nerves, calm, calm the old nerves down. So, let's uh, get that organized and um, keep an eye on things. So these are all uh, wood offcuts at a job site I salvaged. I salvaged a bunch. Um, I've uh, burned most of them uh, just um, you know by the by or on the way uh, as through the summer which has been great because then I don't have to actually burn my actual wood supply. So I have some like medium sized stuff, some off, off cuts of other things and some weird cuts here and then these are like smaller bits that I'll probably burn up first. So they all start with this smaller stuff here, try and burn it off, then go to this guy here and then go with the bigger stuff. And then when the evening hits and maybe it's bedtime or whatever, I'll throw on a log or two just to keep the heat going. And if nothing else, if I get bored, I could play Jenga or tic-tac-toe with myself. And it might be one of those nights, you know, because I might be up all night, you know, just with the storm and everything. You never know. Oh yeah, got a free door jam out of the deal, so I'm pretty happy about that. As far as storms coming in, it feels like it's fairly slow. I imagine it's going to pick up quite suddenly as the storm kind of starts to pass by the island. Um, there are a few places they had warnings for, like I think in the Truro area and Halifax. Um, there was heavy warnings for any coastal areas or low-lying areas. Um, I'm actually a bit sheltered in here, and I may have mentioned that before. So. There's a big hill there, which is kind of my view, and then it goes down into the bottom of the valley, so I'm about halfway in between, and it kicks back up a bit. So what happens is a lot of the wind uh, brushes the tops of the trees, but doesn't really get down here. So up there, there's wind just whipping around already. Uh, I would probably wager a guess 40 to 50 kilometers per hour, given the, the amount of stretch I'm seeing. I mean, that's just a wild guess, but you really don't feel it down here too much. It, do, it doesn't make its way down, which is good because it lets me sit here and enjoy this. So I'm actually going to be really curious when the real winds hit, when it gets really bad, how bad is it down here? And uh, I'll be watching for other things like how's my foundation doing? How's the actual cabin doing? How's the shingles doing? Like this is actually a blessing in disguise. It could be kind of dangerous, but the reality is I get to kind of see my cabin in action, how's it holding up, and how's the weight of it holding up against these kinds of winds, and do the winds even get down here? And then the last thing is, is there is there a real threat from some of those trees behind the cabin? And I don't know, but I'm going to probably find out tonight. Uh, Hurricane Dorian approaches Canadian East Coast, residents bracing for impact. They're saying that 68,000 Nova Scotians are without power already. Um, and that's not uh, not an uncommon thing here on the East Coast. It happens a lot. Uh, I, I, I dare say we'll lose power on the island, at least a lot of it. It's just, it sounds like it's going to be one of those storms. Uh, I don't think it's going to hit us directly, not as hard as Nova Scotia, but I think it'll be enough to take out certain power lines and, and create issues. So yeah, it's, uh, it's going to be interesting kind of tracking this and following this. I need to start finding some websites and things that might be better at tracking it. I think it's going to be really interesting and potentially uh, valuable to me just so I know it um, and just for that sake I mean I do do have the ability to bail out of here like if it starts to look really sketchy I mean like really sketchy I mean like really really sketchy I mean like really 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 sketchy basically just sketchy I'm, I'm gonna bolt I'm gonna lock up and just head out I'm not gonna uh, worry about too much stuff I'll just get my phone my camera the odds and ends and just get out if it's looking really bad so the goal is to kind of stay up fairly late and see how it plays out because it's not supposed to be really bad until this evening and it's going to taper tomorrow morning so that's a long night to, ahead so yeah it's um could be interesting will this be my last will and testament probably not no, not really i don't think so 
but I bet I'm going to be scared shitless at one point in time. I just got that tingle down my spine. I just, I feel like this is going to be an interesting evening, if nothing else. And this is kind of, it sounds really stupid, but this kind of is why I built this cabin. It's to get out in good and bad weather. It's to be able to go out and do things in environments that you wouldn't normally be able to get into. And this is going to be definitely one of them. I mean, if it's any indication right now, it's like, it's going to be a, what do they call it, a slobber knocker? You know what? This, you know what's missing? Thunder lightning. That's it. That's the last thing it needs. It's thunder lightning. Kind of comes and goes right now. Like it's like quiet, and then just huge gusts. I think it's just only going to get worse from here. So kind of a problem. I got to go to the bathroom. It's way over there. Not really looking forward to it, but off we go. Alright, it wasn't too bad. The trees are there, so it kind of blocked a lot of the rain. I need an outhouse bad. That's going to be the next project, I think. See if I can swing it. It's definitely picking up even more now. What I find absolutely amazing right now is that I have almost no wind down here. Like the gusts are maybe 10, 15 kilometers per hour. Maybe, if that. It's not even like a lot. It's like, it's crazy. I'm watching all this kind of like craziness about 50, 60 feet above me. But everything down here is like, yeah, some rain, just chilling out, have a good time. I feel like this is going to change at some point in time. I don't know when. I don't know when. But it will. This is like a TV show. It's like, I've been here for two hours now and I've been just, I just watch. Just watch and just looking for something interesting, something different. I mean, it's, it's probably pretty boring to watch on the, on the video right now, but I find this absolutely fascinating. And uh, just like thunderstorms and things like that, I just... I'm always kind of in awe of nature and its, its fury and its strength. Um, what I really want to do is wait until a big heavy rainfall comes, which is coming. It, it'll be here. And when that happens, when it subsides, kind of run down to the stream down the way and see how flooded it is. You know what I should do? I should run down and get a shot of the stream now before it gets too flooded. And then we can kind of have a reference point. All right, I'm going to hang up the line and we're going to, uh, we're going to walk down real quick. Uh, hopefully not get the camera soaked and uh, get a quick shot of that just to kind of get a point of reference. Okay, all is well. Not a real issue. Uh, it's a little higher than it normally is, but not by a lot. It's been a pretty dry year, so it's only been up maybe an inch or so compared to what's normally here. Now, it is getting affected here. It's just not as bad, at least yet. So, uh... Yeah, so we'll keep an eye on this as the storm progresses. Oops, almost fell. As the storm progresses, we'll kind of see uh, see what happens. And I'm expecting a fair bit of rain, but you never know. So I came to the side opposite to my cabin. It's uh, it's very uh, not dramatic at all. Uh, the wind's picking up, but not bad. It's like it doesn't even look bad from here right now. And the rain's kind of steady, but not kind of outrageous. It's obviously uh, blurring up my lens and stuff like that. But that is what it is. So. I'm just going to hang out here for a little while longer, not very long, like I'm going to get soaked either which way, so I figure I'll uh, see what happens, I don't I don't expect much at this point. I feel like the real show is going to happen tonight when the <laughs> sun's down, but we'll see. Whew. Went out for a little walkie walk, 
Very uh, uneventful, unfortunately. Didn't blow as much wind as I hoped it to blow. It's horrible. I know that's that's a poor way of looking at life right now, but I spent more time getting wet and cold than I was actually trying to film anything. So right now, I mean, it's it's like any storm. It's it's windy. It's rainy. But yeah, so other than uh, walking around getting soaked, very uneventful, and I am cold. It is literally like 12 degrees, probably less with the wind. I think I'm going to clean out the stove real quick and get a fire going. Just because I can. Because I can. You don't have to, I don't have to argue with you. I'm not fighting with you. We're friends. We're on the same team here. This is pro Walsh territory. So if you're watching this video, you better be on my side. So the fire's going, uh, heard a bit of a bang there, so I need to go outside and take a look around. Uh, I'm not really sure what it was, but we'll, we'll see. It's probably just, um, odds are it's just a container or a piece of wood that, that, that fell over or anything. But it wasn't a big bang, but it was big enough for me to go. What was that?
wasn't too bad. Uh, a few fallen trees. One's a little worse off than he was before, but basically uh, nothing in, in you know too severe shape around here. Nothing up around the cabin. Everything's up there. I had some flooding up by the uh, the shower, and as you saw, I had to shovel out a little uh, trough to let the water out. So that's another thing I'll have to deal with for future reference when it rains hard. See, it seemed to collect a lot of water there uh, because it came in so fast. Uh, fallen tree over my path over here, fallen tree around my path, and obviously a couple on the road. But all in all, not too bad, just a lot of debris kicking around. Um, it was again, a really windy night, but it wasn't as rainy as it was windy. Uh, I felt like the rain wasn't nearly as heavy as I thought it was going to be. So that's not really a bad thing. The stream's a little higher than yesterday, but not, not by a ton. So. Yeah, so I'm going to go grab my uh, chainsaw and do a little uh, work and get things cleaned up a little bit. Um, I'm not going to do too much. There's really not much in the way. There's this guy over here I'd like to kind of take care of a little bit. He's, he's kind of uh, <laughs> falling out over my path a bit, so I'm going to limb off a bit and just get it out of the way. And yeah, that'll be pretty much it. I might tackle the guy on the road, but I don't know if I can do that on my own. I might be able to, but we'll see. He's a little bit bigger and... Uh, and I don't want to make more of a mess than that I really need to. So, anyways, we will see. Well, that wraps it up for me guys thanks for watching hope you liked this video it was definitely different a lot happened and a lot didn't happen in some ways which is good um, yeah it was uh, it was an interesting evening uh, not saying that I would like to do that time and time again but definitely liked having the opportunity to be out here during a storm like that it lets me know kind of what the situation is I was really surprised at the performance of the cabin and the kind of area that I put it in it seems quite um, sheltered which is really great so anyways, thanks for watching. Uh, don't forget that like button. Don't forget to hit that like button. Share if you can. Subscribe if you can. That'd be awesome. And I'll see you in the next video.